Good morning, guys. What's up? How you doing? How's your mind? How y'all feeling? Like, what is going on with y'all? <clears throat> um, yo, shout out because I'm really starting to feel better. Like, I drank that tea. I don't know if y'all really out here praying for your girl, but I declared it in the name of faith that I was going to be feeling good, feeling better, especially by Wednesday. So, that's the funny part that we're talking about faith, right? Talking about faith because this is what me and God were talking about this morning, and it, it didn't really even have nothing to do with me not even feeling feeling better. He was like, we were talking, and I was just asking him a question. So he was like, you know, it's definitely how how people faith. It's like some people are faithful, and things happen at a rapid pace because whatever they're praying for. And however they were prepared for it. So it seems like it happened overnight. He said, but those deep down prayers that they've been praying for years and years and years and years, they they end up, they tend to start giving up on their faith because they don't see it. And I said, well, God, like, you know, you praying for years and years and years and years. Like, okay, quick um Bible. Abraham and Sarah, I'm only bringing this up because we talked about this last week at work. Abraham and Sarah. Abraham was 100 years old when he uh, received the son that God promised that he was going to have with his wife Sarah. But in the, the craziness, right? Y'all got to y'all gotta read the Bible because it's, it's real it's real crazy. Just like how life is today. I'm going to tell y'all all the time. Read the Bible. It's crazy. So because Sarah and Abraham was so older, they were like, and they, like when God promised them this, I want to tell you like they was beyond birthing years. Like, Sarah already had went through menopause. She was like, ain't no baby coming out of me. So she gave Abraham her servant because she wasn't in line with God's promise. She didn't see, she didn't have that faith. She laughed, actually. She was like, what? What are you talking about? I'm not about to, like, I'm not about to have no baby at this age. Like, God, you tripping. And it's funny because God will promise you things and you, you, you lose faith on it because it's not happening in the timeline that you feel like it should happen. But a lot of times, God said he's positioning you. He's positioning your mind and your heart because when you'll get it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you myself as an example. For a long time, right? I thought, no, I thought I wanted to have a dog so bad. I wanted to have a dog so bad. And my mom be like, no, cause you're not gonna take care of it. You're not gonna do this, you're not gonna do that. And I'm like, no, give me a dog. Well, she was right because I got this dog in my 30s, right, y'all? And it took me a long time to adjust into transition and get like, okay, well, now you got to get into a habit. Some of y'all praying for kids and y'all not ready for the kids. Some of y'all praying for the spouse, but y'all not ready for the spouse. A lot of y'all praying what the spouse can do and bring to you, but you're not praying what kind of spouse you could be for them. I'm just saying. So a lot of times we are in prayer, we're not asking God, for the right stuff and that's why he says he takes so long to deliver those those prayers he said they'll, they'll be answered but in the time when they're supposed to be answered so y'all i just wanted to give y'all that word don't give up on that prayer you you get in positioning you getting ready you entering a whole new season he had to get your mind ready he had to get your heart ready because it wasn't there it, it was selfish even though you won't admit to that it was selfish you wasn't ready you wasn't mature enough to handle that promise that he told you that he was going to give you don't give up. Don't get faithful list because you don't see it. Get faithful because it's on its way. The, the moment you change your mind, the moment you change your mind and say, I declare it in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord, I don't care, I'm going to get it. It might take you some time to get it, but you're going to get it. And while you're getting it, enjoy the process. Stop. Oh my God. I, I've been asking and why and Lord, you don't, and I, I don't see it. Don't, don't do that. Start claiming it, declare it. I have, I have. The one thing I gotta say about this, this new um spiritual stuff, this manifestations and writing and scripting on a um uh writing stuff down. The one thing that they do that that declares everything, and, and God says it doesn't matter if you believe in Him or not. You still, when you put the work in, you still get the rewards, right? Just to believe in Him, honestly, to walk with Him, you are gonna have a better life. You're going to be a better person and you're going to attract even a more abundance. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about 
just people and family and all type of stuff. He said the one thing is that they already, they so faithful, they say I have already. Now I'm going to, or I will. They said I have. And once your mind changes and I have it, that's when it's released to you. All right, y'all. Y'all have a blessed, wonderful, beautiful day. Um, And I'll talk to y'all soon. I got so many different things that we could, like, that I got to talk to y'all about. Because me and God have just been... What I've been doing lately, like I y'all see my get ready with me. Um lately, like this last couple of the days, I just been sitting in silence. Like I get ready in silence. I don't put anything on. So I just will allow God to talk to me and have those conversations. Cause like I said, it's a two-way conversation. All right, y'all.